It's on nothing like that here today. We're talking about snow possibly, you're saying tonight, maybe tomorrow? Yeah, the, the most critical time is going to be tomorrow morning. So if you're leaving right now, you're okay. There's no worries on this morning drive, uh, but preparing you for tomorrow morning. Lake Effect Snow Watch tonight through Tuesday. Uh, the bullseye is really Laporte, Southern, Berrien, and Western St. Joseph, even into Northern Stark. You can see all the counties highlighted here, but really across the northwest portion of our viewing area, that's going to be the most critical area going into tomorrow morning. Once that north wind comes right off of Lake Michigan, uh, we'll see some bands in localized areas that could top six inches. ABC 57 first warning live, DOP the radar. It's all clear out there right now. There's no worry of any rain. We saw a little drizzle across northern Berrien and Cass. That has since come to an end. What we're waiting on, there's the rain. You can see dropping down uh, just around the Milwaukee area and approaching Grand Rapids. Behind that, you see up near Minneapolis and further north, there's that switch over to rain and snow. That's along the front. That's all headed towards us. And the timeline on that will be rain, then mix, then snow as we go through the afternoon today. Right now, we're about as warm as we're going to be. We're in the 40s, and we'll see temperatures fall this afternoon. So for your Veterans Day, 42 is the high, but keep in mind that's an early high. This afternoon's temperatures will be in the 30s and quickly dropping. Southwest wind 10 to 15, uh, switching to the north by tonight, and we see those temperatures drop 30s and even into the 20s by tomorrow morning. We'll go moderate on threat tracker. Here's the breakdown with that threat. Again, snow, if you're under the lake effect bands, uh, the greatest concern. Of course, the cold for everyone. We're going to see a big drop in temperatures and even see some ice with that uh, from some of those wet roadways. So, I just want you to keep that in mind as we go tonight into tomorrow. Lake effect snow for the day tomorrow, 34. That's it for the high. And we'll see again the snow primarily in lake effect counties through around noon tomorrow. Timing with forecast track, we take you through. Noon today, there's the rain starting up, moving from northwest towards the south and east. Five o'clock, the drive home from work. That's where we're going to see that rain mixed with snow. I expect roadways to be wet, not snow covered. Uh, ground temperatures are pretty warm. By 10 o'clock tonight, though, temperatures drop, and we'll start to see accumulation, especially in Laporte, Southern Berrien, even across northwestern St. Joseph County, New Carlisle to Michigan City, down to Laporte, probably the triangle of greatest snowfall. And then even possibly down as far as Knox or Winnemac. As we go through tomorrow morning, we'll see again that band of lake effect snow across our northwest and western counties that wraps up by around noon. And then skies begin to clear as we end Tuesday and go into Wednesday. Model snowfall forecast again, you see the area shaded in a lighter blue here. That's around one to three inches of snow that stretches from just west of South Bend. I don't expect much for South Bend, maybe up to an inch of snow. It gets less as you head towards Elkhart, but there could be a bullseye up to six inches somewhere in northwestern Laporte County, Laporte to Michigan City, Westville, somewhere in there. Uh, we'll likely see the most snowfall out of this. Your ABC 57 first warning seven day forecast. Mix changing to snow, lake effect tonight into Tuesday, 34 the high, 24 the low, 18 the low Wednesday morning. It gets cold as we go into Wednesday, just a heads up there. Sunshine with rebounding temperatures as we go through next week. Your 10-day forecast temperatures back in the 50s by the weekend.